today we'll be doing this question that appeared in weekly contest lead code weekly contest three to one and the question is two four eight seven remove nodes from the linked list the question statement is you are given the head of the linked list remove every node which has a node with a strictly greater value anyway to the right side of it and return the head of the modified linked list at the end of the day and what do we do uh, what do we need to do in this question so let's understand this better now for this statement right here let's come on to this and let's go for the walkthrough of this example right here so when we are given this what do we have to do we see at the first instance we go to five for five do we have any other node which is having a value to be greater than this yes it does have a value which is 13 so we need to delete this five now we come on to two we see to the right of us we again have something which is greater than this two so we delete this node also for 13 we see that we do not have any other nodes to the right of me which has a value greater than this so we'll be keeping this node again for three we'll be deleting because we have someone to the right of us which is eight and it is greater than three so at the end of the day we just need to return this list right here link list so how do we go about doing this before doing this let's just understand this example as well so for one one and one what do we have we return the same link list why so because there is no list which is greater than this okay strictly greater i'm talking about strictly greater so if someone is strictly greater then only we are going to remove it but if it is greater uh, uh equals to if the value is equals to that value we are not going to delete it obviously fine if it is strictly greater then we delete the current node otherwise we do not now how do we go about doing this so from this you must have got the intuition that the value at the end of the day would be in the decreasing order and by decreasing order i mean let's just see from here we have something like 3 uh, 13 3 and also an 8 here something like this so at the end of the day what are we going to have we are going to have a linked list which will be having all the values something like this that is this and we can see that it is in decreasing manner right it is in decreasing manner so what we can do here is i have used a stack here in order to do this uh, because in the uh, at the time of the contest that was much easier to approach it so i use stack here and we could use something uh, like a stack in order to get everything in the linearly uh, decreasing manner and how do we go about doing it so let's take this example itself and we'll be able to understand it so we'll be iterating through this list first link list first and how do we do it let's see i'm telling you that if the stack is empty what do we do we just simply push the value that we are having fine we were here right now now this element has been processed that means the stack was empty we simply just put it here now let's move on to the next element we see that it's two now whenever we are at two what are we getting we are seeing that okay the element prior to me that is in the stack right now we are having two in our hand okay and what do we have on the stack stop we see that it is five which is greater than two right so this is not violating my condition of a decreasing manner if you see five is greater than two and we can uh, supposedly obviously have it right in our array or link list whatever but now when we come on to 13 we see that this will violate our condition that means five two and 13 this is not in our decreasing manner right this is not in our decreasing manner it is violating our condition so at the hand we are having 13 now at the top of the stack we'll try to compare it we'll see if whatever's at the top of the stack is lesser than my value which is at my hand what am i going to do i'm simply just going to remove it from the stack so i'll remove this from the stack now what are we ha having at our hand we are having 13 again and what is at the top of the stack it is 5 so what are we going to do this is going to simply remove it now there's nothing in the stack and what do we do when we do when we are having nothing in our stack we just insert whatever we have in our hand fine so this is uh, just simply making sure that all the elements are monotonically in the decreasing manner if we just check it from the above or increasing manner we check it from uh, below okay so this is what we are doing here now coming on to three now when we come on to three we see that okay fine 
this is not violating any condition so let's just say that okay we can put it obviously now when we come on to it when we come on to it we see that whatever's at the top of the stack is lesser than it now this cannot be true why so because this is again violating our, our descending order condition that is 13 3 and 8 this is what we'll be getting but we do not want that right we want a descending fashion uh, link list so what are we going to do we just remove whatever's at the top of the stack and we just say okay i'll just remove that and insert whatever's at my hand right now and after this you'll see we have exhausted all our values from the uh, link list and we are having something like 8 and 13 which is indeed our answer now all you have to do is put these 8 and 13 into your link list right whatever you have been given you just put that there in your values so what are we going to do we are just going to pop out all the elements from the stack that is 8 and 13 and what are we going to do we are just going to insert it into our answer link list and how do we do that and remember whenever we are popping out from the link uh, sorry stack we will be getting it in the reverse manner right we'll be getting it as 8 and then we'll be getting as 30 we will store it somewhere but we need it in the opposite fashion so what when, what can we do we can just store it in a vector or something array array list whatever and we'll just reverse that array list or vector fine and we'll be having something like 13 and 8 after that what are we going to do we're just simply going to iterate on the link list till our size of the array and we are just going to put all the values there and after that what are we having we just need this part right we just need this part so what are we going to say we are just going to say that after that whatever's there we just put a null right here and that's about it what are we going to do for this for so after that when we have just put everything to the null that is the next pointer we have just pointed it to null we just return this link list that is what we have formed from here and this is your answer that's it so now let's check the code and also i'll just show you that i've already submitted so no need to worry about that part okay so i'll just show you the code and also the code link will be in the description as well please do check it out from here or i'll just pin it in the comment in the first comment you can just uh, check it from there so what have we done we have firstly taken a stack and whatever we were doing like i showed you we were just maintaining all the values in the linearly decreasing manner or uh, increasing manner from the below top and decreasing from obviously from uh, the top after that what are we doing we are just saying that at any given instance if we are having something in our uh, stack and we find a number which is greater than that will just be popping out from the stack and pushing this value into our stack so this is what we are doing in this while loop part and if the stack is empty obviously we push it into our stack right and again sorry for that uh, misinterpretation which i said that we are maintaining a uh, linearly increasing from the uh, bottom part that is it what we are doing right here so these terms are not actually very important related to this you just need to understand the concept of why we are doing this why we are removing it from the stack and when we are pushing it and that's all that you need to know after that we are saying if the stack is empty return null this will actually never happen because there will be some value every time but still i just did it and after this what are we doing i have created a temporary array which i mentioned and after that we'll just push everything into our vector and we'll just reverse it why so because whatever's in your stack like 13 and 8 at the end of the day when you pop it out from the stack and in your vector it will be something like this 8 and 13 but your answer is actually 13 and 8 right which you want that is why we just need to re reverse it at the end of the day after that what are we doing we're just iterating on the size of the array that means we are having 13 and 8 right so in the link list we need to make changes to only two nodes so what are we doing we are saying that okay i have made the change to the first node after that what are we doing we are just going to the next node then we come on to the next node and i say that okay i'll make a change to this node but also you need to make sure there are some other values to the right of you right it can happen that there are some other values to the right of it but you also need to make sure that whenever you have changed the last value that means this last value that it after it's changed you make sure this all the nodes that are here are just dumped out and the last node is pointing to null 
so this is what you have to make sure so that is why whenever you are at the last index at the 8 that is the last position where you need to change the value you do not move to the next index okay and you just stop there so what am i doing so we are just saying that okay at the last index supposedly here we are just stopping there itself we are not moving to the next part so that is what we are doing and at the end of the day when we are uh, getting out of the loop we are just saying that okay after this we'll just make the temps next to be null and we'll be returning the head and this is the whole code walkthrough from this and if you still uh, have any doubt you can ask me obviously in the comments and if you did like the uh, explanation and it, if you did understand it please like and subscribe and yeah thank you for watching and also the code will be in the uh, pinned comment let's just say it's in the pinned comment okay and also it could be in the description you can just check it on uh, both the parts okay so yeah that's it for this one